Welcome down to the 2009 Nomad Shark Island Challenge. My name's Kira Llewellyn. This year's event started out with the Brett Young Memorial Trials held at the point here in Canola. That saw four of the trialists make it through to the main event up against the top 16 wildcard entrants. differ from the usual format? Well it, it differs extremely. Um, basically what we do is instead of having a knockout format which would, would normally happen on a World Tour event, we um, run a, a two round um, event where the riders get to surf twice, they're not knocked out, so if they do bad in one round they can try and make it up in the next. Uh, surfing down the coast a lot I guess there's a few heavy reef setups and the last two, three months being up here surfing my ass out, out the island, trying to keep up with the big boys, so yeah. Just wanted to make the island comp, so yeah, coming come first isn't a bonus, I guess, a real good bonus. Last three days have been good right handers, so all you want to be doing is just um, feel confident in your surfing, try and get heavy waves. Um, I sort of relaxed by getting pretty loose on the weekend. 
always trying to get better and especially coming into a big event like this, it'd be good to um, come in full form. Uh, just surfing. Yeah, surfing heaps. Been getting some good waves, so um, that's all you have to do really, I reckon. Get wearing a board so you're comfortable with it and then stick with that.
out just a good opportunity to surf Shark Island with you know a couple other guys and really have a crack at it you know try and you know it's just good to be in it and have a crack at it for the 10 grand first prize like looking forward to it should have been over here surfing the island but I wasn't really got a few waves in WA though so and I'm feeling pretty fit so I guess I've had a decent preparation but it could have been better just doing physio and um, trying to stay fit, trying to stay sort of mentally prepared for the comp, doing everything I can and yeah, just wait for the comp to come about and see how we go.
is laughing, who is listening? This is not inside my head. She's always laughing, who is listening? Are you talking way too fast? My feet and thumbs, I just can't ask you when you feel this way too I had an injury last year which I had surgery on so I was out of the water for three months but yeah I come back pretty strong I think my physio is happy with the work I've done and yeah I think if I keep the right training up who knows what happened but yeah the Shark Island's a different way to the point that's for sure. I mean just everyone, everyone back home knows the Shark Island is, everyone knows that it's heavy like um, everyone knows that it's it's one of the best ways in the world so I mean it's just yeah it's really the feeling really to serve in this event against all these guys just it's second to none. I've been staying with uh, John Shaw, who's, who's one of the locals out there, and uh, he's taught me a bit how to surf the wave and how to pick the good ones from the bad ones. So I feel a little bit prepared. I mean, definitely not like some of these guys that are surfing it every day, but uh, I feel like I'll be somewhat prepared, and uh, I don't know, it'll just be a good experience. Uh, I'm normally just surfing as much as I can, like doing any other extra exercise, but I think mainly just, like, just surfing as much as I can, so getting around wherever the bigger waves are. So. Yeah.
it's one Can you just set the stage when I fix it to simulate? If you need a brand new design, just don't forget to get a skip that will check it for a blitz
just pretty much been surfing every every day, trying to surf the island as much as I can, um, getting out there whenever there's waves, basically. Um, I've been in Tahiti and uh, Indonesia the last two months, so just been getting a lot of pits, practicing my pocket surfing and that, so it's been good. Oh, deep, heavy barrels and big airs. Excited. Maybe a little bit of drop knee in between. Excited? Um, through the roof. It's like a huge achievement to even get thought of in this event. And um, I know full well that um, I'm a very lucky girl to get into this contest.
With this step we move back Your feet on my chest like a Never ending heart attack Two parts lie before me But which one should I choose? Ones and zeros are the One that's always carried you And I don't know if this I will leave To an ending that we thought it never could be And so I stand up at these crossroads with the Best tune, Dave Miller. Yeah! Oh, it's a bit surprising actually, you know, like, first heat was, um, it's really hard and really tricky conditions and, um, today was a lot better, so, um, yeah, I'm stoked. Best move goes to Sean Peterson. Oh, God. Hello, people. Look at this. We've got an old ad to get him going. Um, I'm not sure which one it is. I think it, it was a flip, but... Um, it was a back, back section barrel and I kind of bar flipped out of it. I don't know, I honestly don't. I, I, I want to see the footage, I haven't seen anything yet. I want to check it out. Best one, man. That's what I'm talking about. Shark Island and the Wipeout. All I have to say is, don't do this at home kids. It really hurts. It really hurts. And the winner of the Total 2 trial is Dave Ballard. You know, I just want to thank the sponsors and uh, thank my sponsors, Billabong and BSC, and say hello to um, Noah and Ray and Kingston. <laughs> In fourth place, Ryder and wife Alex Bunting. Yeah! In third place, Jose Aquino. First place getter. The first place getter receiving $10,000. You and Donacci. I'd just like to thank 40 for putting on the event. Um, it was basically the waiting period had to be extended and stuff, so appreciate everyone coming together to sort of make it happen. Um, thanks to my sponsors and thanks to everyone for coming. And, uh, yeah, Stoked. It hasn't really sunk in, to be perfectly honest. Um, but I'm, I'm over the moon. Like, it's, a, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. It's, it's what, probably the biggest. Well, it's definitely the biggest result I've ever had, and it's one of the biggest things that's happened to me as far as bodybuilding goes. So, yeah, I'm over the moon. Well, you did fantastic in the contest, you and um, as a whole, how do you feel about this event, and what does it mean um, to be a competitor in the Shark Island contest to you? Um, yeah, I, I love the event. Um, I'd say it's definitely one of, if not the best, event that I've competed in. And um, like growing up, on you know living in Sydney, it's always been like a, a big event in Sydney and like on the on the on the competitive scene. Um, so it's, yeah, it's awesome to get the opportunity to compete in it and sort of um, I guess live out a dream that I've um, I've wanted to for a while. You know, like doing what my heroes and stuff have been able to do. Um, so yeah, no, so it was, it, was, it was an awesome opportunity to be able to do that. Yeah.